guys, good morning. Hey everyone, welcome from Vienna. Are you happy to be here? So happy. Yeah, it's been a long time, right? Yeah, it's been almost a year. Since we've last been on holiday and also since we've last been in Vienna. In Vienna, yeah. Yeah, we have great plans here because this is just the start because after Vienna, the plan is to go to Portugal. Porto and Lisbon Lisbon. and some other towns. I'm gonna start vlogging again and yeah. document everything so be excited for what's coming. We actually went out pretty late. This is 12. 10 past 12. We just wanted to make it easy and just chill. We don't want to stress you out. We've been here one time to this restaurant and last time it was not as good as this time. Maybe because we're hungry now. Guys the weather here is so amazing and I think it will be like that for the whole week. This is the first district of Vienna. It's right in the city center. Our hotel, gladly, is very close to Stephansdom, so the, the epicenter of the city. I think we made a good choice choosing the hotel this time. Mm -hmm. A very helpful tip for choosing a hotel is either in the middle of the city or if it's close to the public transportation. So if it's close to the bus terminal or if it's close to the uh, train station, it doesn't it'll be so super helpful. It doesn't matter so much if it's not very close to the city center mm -hmm. but if you have good access to the most important uh, subway lines or bus lines it's also a good uh, a, a very great bonus we have two espresso oh, they actually yeah, changed they the window because i think they got um, bigger yeah. so they changed window the first window was just there and then they moved here the location yeah yeah. Thanks so much. We're going to the old window. <laughs> this. Oh yeah. This was the window before, so it was really small, and also I think because of the, you know, the space here, because it was always so many people here queuing. I think they moved because there they have more space, you know. Yeah. And then now here is just the red church. You have to look at it from here. It's just as amazing in real life as it looks on camera. It's so cool. We were waiting here with this people. We thought like there's something gonna happen with the clock here. We thought like the, the figures are gonna be moving. We have waited here for like 30 minutes or 5 minutes. Yeah, because everyone is standing here, you know. I just checked it online. It's actually... The music will play while the figures move and stuff like that and like there's a character action and stuff like that but I don't know it's time it's not this time so we're in front of the Hundertwasser house it's a brain freeze <laughs> Hundert Wasser is the name of the painter. No, architect. Architect. Yeah, that's what I mean. Babe, do you need a freaking teleprompter? I or have what? no script. So I'm in front of the Hundert, Hundert Wasser house. So Hundert Wasser is the name of the architect that built this building. The building is like, how do you say, it? there are a few terraces up there. I learned about this from my German course, that's, how, that's why I wanted to go here. Let's that's see it from the front. That's why you know about it. Yeah, I forgot. So there are terraces in the balcony. Um, it looks really cool because now the, uh, the plants are green, right? I really want to see it in winter. Yeah, Because it must be like dry. Mm -hmm. You get a better view of the house probably. Yeah, probably. Guys, we are going to the supermarket. This is a fancy interest bar. So okay, let's see what they have. There's some fridge of hipster drink. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. It's all hipster drinks, guys. All hipster drinks. As I call them. I think we have to go left here. We are dead. Ah, ah, we 
We are at the Amoy. <laughs> hey, what's going on? <laughs> we are at the amusement park again. We just decided to go to the amusement park, guys. So it's many so people here. here. Look at that. It's so fun. It's so cool. It's so cool. Whoa, look at that. Too far. Let me give you a pro tip. So my personal tip is hold your breath when you're okay. targeting, don't okay? That's right. And don't use your basket. No, yeah. Go usa. Go usa basket, guys. Doesn't go. You have to go flatter, babe. It doesn't go. Huh? Oh, sorry. Still on a high speed journey to somewhere. Got an impulse to flee this town right now. Oh, wow, good. Oh, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Let's see. Hold your breath. It's okay. Babe, why am I having so much fun here? Because you're a villager. You came. You come, no, I think you it's come from the. You come from the village. I think it's because I'm still a small child, really. I'm so tired. Now, guys, this is one of the most amazing escalators in the city of Vienna. Look at that. So for first time visitors to Vienna, I can only recommend you to take the U1 or the U3 and go to the Stephansplatz and then you need to take the exit Stephansplatz because there is an escalator and as you saw before, you can see the Stephansdom right away so you're in the heart of the city. So you want to pull out your camera already or you just want to see it with your own eyes which is even more amazing because yeah it's just impressive so just imagine you go to the airport in vienna go to the city by train and then you take the subway to the very heart of to, ver to the very center of the city and seeing the stefanstorm right away it's just amazing really this means we're home to late good night we are going to portugal